What's going on everybody? Matt Mramer here of Cruising with Matt. And you know, one of the things that I really like to do when I'm getting ready to go on a cruise is reach out to the PR department for whichever cruise line I'm going to be sailing with and asking if there might be anyone on board who would be able to spare a couple of minutes and teach me a little bit more about what's going on on the ship and how they keep it running. On my last cruise on board the Norwegian Jade, I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to sit down with hotel director Mirsad Bakuk. Mirsad is from Dubrovnik, Croatia, and he was an absolute pleasure to sit down with. He taught me a couple of things that I didn't know about the Jade, and it was certainly good to get more information. So, I wanted to pass some of that information along to you, just in case you're thinking about taking a cruise on the Jade, or you're just curious about what the life of a hotel director on board a cruise ship might look like. So what do you say? Let's sit down with the cruise ship hotel director and learn a little bit more about the Norwegian Jade. Hi, my name is Mirsad Buchuk. I'm coming from Dubrovnik, Croatia, and I'm hotel director on board the Norwegian Jade. And how long have you been on board the Jade? On board the Jade, I used to work a couple of times, but uh, now it's going to be my fourth year in a row to stay on board the ship. Here. Okay, so you know the ship very well. Very well. When I look at the Norwegian Jade, I see a great vessel. And one of the things that's so impressive to me about this ship and, and many cruises is the ability to turn it over so fast we, we, we get back tomorrow morning okay <clears throat> yeah. and we get off at, at, at eight nine in the morning and by 11 o'clock 12 o'clock you have a, a bunch of new people coming on for their <laughs> vacation true, true true and so how how do you balance that uh, i mean how, how much crew do you have and how, how are you able to get this whole ship ready the turnover the ship in a couple hours is a complex job to do you know but i must say that I have a great crew and I have a great management who we working so many years together and uh, with the great support from our office and comes to turn over the guests in regards when they're coming to the immigration, you know, leading us, coaching us, execution become for us very easy. For maybe for people who doesn't know the maze, it is amazing things, but we have amazing crew, amazing people working for that to make, make it happen in a couple hours. It is. So I have a, on the board the Jade, we have a 1037, depends on the cruise, the crew, you know. In the hotel side, we have a, almost 900 people. The rest are deck and engine, you know. So people turn over, everybody is involved. But most who is involved, it's um, housekeeping people, you know, because they have to clean the area. 100% they're upside down every single room, you know, but this is a teamwork, you know. There is a people assigned who are going to sweep off the, the bed sheet, who are going to take the garbage, who want to do this. So one moving, another one doing the new things, you know. As I said, great team, great leaders, guys, you know, who leading the team, helping at the right time, giving them what to do, not to do something extra, which is not point, you know, go straight to the point, finish the job, and by two o'clock we are ready or oh, we have to clean all public area we have to fumigate it every single room every single public area to fumigate you know to make sure that when guests come everything nice clean smell nice you know then you have the restaurant have to prepare their own meals as well then you have the provision where you have the new food and so every single person from the top to the bottom is busy this is the busiest days for us but at the end of the day when you see people around and they give you a good comment, then you make your day, you know, so, oh, that's nice, you see, everything went fairly a couple hours, but happy. But it is a very complex job to do, but as I said, working so many years, same things, you know, become routine for us. Yeah. But if you don't have a team, a good team, there's yeah. going to be trouble. But uh, with the team I have, I may be fortunate to have these great people that sacrifice themselves, they work all day long just to make sure when you come you know this you can just have wow it's beautiful and that's one of the things that i love about cruising also is 
meeting people from all over the world, the people who work for you, they come yes. from every country in the world. And talk about how unique it is to work in a place where you have people that come from all different places, different cultures, different beliefs, and all, all work together, like you said, for that one cause. But that's for me, when I first time came on the ship, you know, I knew that we have so many religions, so many nationalities, but you have to come to work on the ship to feel that, to have that feeling, to see that, to be part of that, and uh, learning, knowing each person, no matter which color, which, uh, which religion, what their beliefs are, you know, we are all here for one goal, to provide a service. And when we provide a service, when the guests leave the ship and we stay in the gangway, they said, thank you very much, we come back, crew was wonderful, you know, that is the best things what we can get here, you know, so we achieve our goal. And makes me very happy that we manage to, to all different nationalities put in one, think as one. Yeah. So this is a great achievement for me, and I always said for myself, I become a better person knowing so many different cultures, so many different people, how people are thinking, what way they are respecting each other, you know. That helps they develop you as a person yourself with that people working with, you know. So that's, for me, it's a very something when I leave the guests, thank you, your crew is excellent. That's a, the biggest gift. As you know, crew, we are nothing without our crew. And uh, they are they're doing a great job, you know, that's, we are very fortunate to have them. And it's so nice to hear how many different stories come, different families, different backgrounds. Yes. It, it's not even just in the crew, people on board, people from Germany, people from all over the United States, yes. Canada, Mexico. Yeah. I've met people from all over the world on the screws. It's, it's been amazing. Um, yeah, you're talking about guests, right? Yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, I mean crew as well, crew, but yeah, definitely yeah. even yes. even guests. So you, you you have a a social atmosphere where you, you yes, meet people yes. from all over the world, and you really healthy fun. atmosphere. And you know, it's ple pleasure to work when you walk around. They already hey hi, got the excellent job. Help you a lot. This guy is good. This guy is great. You know what else you need? So one of the things I wanted to ask about in this ship specifically is the the Haven Suite, the Garden Villa. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. One of the biggest suites at sea, uh, three bedrooms. I mean, it, it's, yes, it's spectacular. Yes, yes. What goes into making that experience so special? Because the, I know there's a butler service, and and obviously when when a guest spends that that kind of money for an yeah. experience, what what goes into creating that special experience? But that special experience, because uh, how to say, the garden villa is a future three, as you just mentioned, three bedrooms, and then we have a uh, the with a huge window space full, you know, you can see you are on the ship, but you are not kind of the ship. You, you, you have your privacy, what you're looking for, and comp the ship provide you all those, your privacy. You have your private dining area, you have your outside dining area, you have jacuzzi there where to go, you have your uh, sunbathing your area, you know. So you are traveling, you are with the other 2,300 people, but to yourself, you know, you're just uh, relaxing and uh, uh, how to say, the balconies is, is, is there and you are not disturbed. And you have a butler, you have a concierge, you have your own place when you're having your breakfast and dinner as well. You know all the people from the Haven, the, on this ship is in the Cagades, uh, our new, newest ship, they're having their own area where they're dining, breakfast, lunch and dinner, you know. So this is a lot of attention and from the crew, from the every single person, you know, to be providing and anticipate all the guests needs, whatever they need, we are there for them, you know, and they're happy that they can have that, what they have home, they can have it aboard the ship, we're away from home. So they don't feel they're away from home, they're just like a home. Whatever they do, they're doing here for them, so it is uh, unique, and those people are very simple, you know, and... Yeah, and how, how many rooms are just one, how many Haven suites? Garden Villa, we have it two, that's a the two, Three bedrooms, you okay. know, the special area. Are they both booked this week? Yeah, next week, yeah. All the heaven, every cruise is a book. Booked. booked. So then we have a two uh, deluxe owner suite. We have an owner suite. We have a courtyard villa. We have a penthouse. Okay, this is great. But only in the villas, you know, it's, it's uh, how to say, two, four, eight, twelve, twelve rooms there. Yeah. But uh, there are different categories. The garden villa, mini suites, you know, the looks on that, it's one looks on that, on deck 15, if you look above the villa, 
you know yeah. this is the looks okay. of, of the suite so that area is uh, they have uh, access only the of course people who is living there there is no area that um, I can give you a bit more information here because okay two garden villa is a 5,000 square feet yeah. <laughs> so we have two of them then we have the looks of midship is a 928 square feet you know so then we have owner suite for courtyard villa 660 uh, square feet 10 courtyard villa this is all there in the, that area you know so two garden villa this is suite and eight ten uh, six hundred sixty square feet so every room they have their own privacy we have a main have you been there no I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah, okay. This is on deck 14, you know, above. They have a, a small um, relaxation area. They have a small pool. But two garden villa, they have their own jacuzzi. But it is a, how to say, huge area on the main room. When it's a huge window, they have an area where you dine inside. You have a piano. You have all the Wi-Fi. All these uh, things what you, you have in home, you know. Yeah. So... If you want to dine outside, there is a table outside, there is a jacuzzi outside, you have some private bathing, some bathing, it's a private area, some bathing. So it, it is an amazing, amazing area. And this always, always sold out. Yeah. It's never empty. That's good. You don't want it yeah. empty. Oh, oh, even the ship is never empty. Even now we have 2,600 guests. Is that wow. capacity? No. Our capacity, we have a... 2,400 guests, we can accommodate a double occupancy. However, some of the cabins, as you know, they have an additional bed and bulk bed. So when is the season, especially when you, when you have a lot of families with the kids, they have a three or four people in the room. So our numbers come up to 3,000. So when it's each uh, two people in the room is a 2,400 double capacity. So this is a huge number as well. During the season, with the kids are going sometimes up to three thousand because some beds, some cabins are having three beds, four beds, both okay. beds, you know, for the kids, and uh, and ship is how to say it's almost always full. Yeah, always uh, some. Uh, we don't have here, you know, the uh, uh, the New Year's ship. They have a single room for the single people studios. Yeah. So we are the first one pioneer in this industry to innovate, to have it. They start with an epic uh, first. They have a uh, single people, single. You have a lot travel alone. You don't need a two bedroom. You have one. They call them studio. They have them now with all these ships from epic getaway breakaway. You know, this is a innovation from our company as well. So what are, um, in your opinion, what are some things that guests need to take advantage of? When, when somebody's coming on board the Jade for the first time, what are two or three things you say, wow, you must see this? Great outdoor. When you sit in the complimentary venue, when you can dine, you know, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, you sit outside, you have a beautiful view of the oceans, you know, especially when it's the nicest sunset, uh, sunset you know. Then we have this um, uh, bar area, which we have uh, three bars in one. With the music, you know, with the live entertainment, we have a whiskey, a whiskey bar, we have a champagne bar, a martini bar, so everyone can find uh, the way, one drink there, one drink there, you know, but it's a huge experience there on deck six, you know, which is uh, most of our guests going before and after dinner. And uh, the third one should be the spinnaker in the front of the ship of deck 13, I believe, we've been there, you can see the beautiful hound, 180 I think view around you can see wherever you see the beautiful quiet area during the day you know and of course during the night is always some activities but have a beautiful view what's going on during the sailing especially when you go into the Panama Canal you know or the ships like we are sailing in uh, in Alaska as well which a beautiful view very quiet you know, have your drink and your friends chat little but most of the time is very quiet yeah, it's beautiful up there. Yeah, we, there eh? uh, we've enjoyed going up there yeah. in, in the evening time. So as somebody who's cruised as much as you have, you said you've been with Norwegian for more than 30 years. 21. Tw oh, 21. More yeah, than 20 years. I'm sorry. in the industry, but with the Norwegian, 21. Okay. And so you've been all over the world. Where is somewhere that you think people should go? That you say, if you're going to take a cruise, you need to see this. Uh, you know that every part of the world is a unique and a different you know so depends on the guests what you going to Alaska is, is something unique to see you know that's just a beautiful uh, 
the nature, you know, and sea and and the wildlife as well. You can see there, and it's, it's so many. For me, it was a great experience for myself when I see go there. Even we, most of the time, we are working, you know. However, there is the opportunity to go to see for every crew member, you know, to see they can pass to the guest while during the service, you know, they can pass them how great area. And South America is as well, they have their own uh, beauties as well. They go to Ushuaia, when the three ocean get together on the way in the South of the Horn, you know, down there. So Europe is it totally different as well because every port you go is a different culture. You can see something when you go out, you know, and just go on the beach like in Caribbean. But there, really, you can see the culture. So as I said, it's kind of a little challenge to say where is the best. Every area is. It's, they have something special, you know. Yeah. So, and Italy, the Greece, you know, is beautiful. The Croatia, the ship is going to Croatia as well, you know. Dubrovnik and um, Italy all over, Venice, Rome, Naples. I, I would love to do Croatia. See, see, Croatia, yeah, is... Uh, I, um, our ship will go... We used to stop there a year, two years ago. Now we're going back three times. We're going to stop there from Italy to Greece, you know, to Croatia. That's awesome. Just, yeah. Uh, I did, when I graduated from college, I went to uh, Italy and the Greek Isles. Yeah, yeah just opposite of Italy. And, and beautiful. Yeah. Um, and, and like you say, the thing that I love about cruising is there's something different for everybody. So how long is left on your contract? I have it, uh, three more weeks to go. Three more weeks? And yeah. then are you heading My contract is a four, four months on two off. Okay. So, and are you going back home to Croatia? Yes, I went to the Rodic for two months and I come back uh, in April again. Nice. Another four months. So. Are, you, are you excited? Get a little oh, yeah. time off? I had an absolutely wonderful time sitting down with Mirsad and learning a little bit more about what it takes to keep the Norwegian Jade going. It's really cool to have an opportunity to sit down and get a peek behind the curtain of what these people do on a day-to-day -day basis. Every cruise that we go on, there are thousands of people who are working tirelessly to make sure that it's a great vacation experience for you and I. We should always take the time to thank those people when we see them around the ship and having a chance to sit down with Mirsad and learn a little bit more about what his team does to make those vacations so special was really a treat. Now if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty of great cruise content on the way, including episode one of Cruising with Matt, which will be coming out in the very near future. So please, again, hit that subscribe button. It's like, it's right there. It's right there. Thanks so much, y'all. We'll see you next time.